Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Acts Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts Ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you. Welcome to the Words to Empower podcast, featuring Bishop Frank Stewart, pastor of the Acts Ministry in Conway and North Little Rock, and now, Pastor Stewart. Welcome back to your Acts Ministry podcast. We've been talking about personal responsibility, and let me tell you something. This is where we're hurting that, I believe, and I think it has hurt us uh, for centuries in this area, not understanding that even though God has given something to us, we have to possess it. Now, that's clear in the word of God. It's clear he gave them the promised land, but it was giants on what God had gave them. Giants was possessing it, but it belonged to them. So even though God has already done his part, he's given it to us, there are some things that we must do by faith. Now, we, we've been talking about basically healing, physical and emotional and spiritual healing that God gave us through Jesus Christ on the cross. But even though it was given to us, we have to possess it. We have to go and possess it. Now, I want to I want to talk about I want to talk about a, a, some things that has been given unto us that we have to possess. That we got to go get. Got to go get it. Got to go get it. Now, the thing about that when I say that, we have to make sure we keep that in balance and that we don't get under the law. The law on the works. And I think that's one of the things that really hurt many people. When you say the law was about works, then there is this there's this misunderstanding that we shouldn't do anything and everything is considered a work. And that is not what the Bible teaches. The Bible is clear that even though Abraham was justified by faith, there are some things he did. He offered up his only begotten son. Rahab was justified by faith. But yet and still we see that it was some things she did. She she did some things by works. She hid the spies. The things that she did. Abraham justified by works. I mean by faith. But he had some works with his faith. So you can't have faith unless there's action. The only way you know you have faith is because of your action. So there are some things that we must understand that that, that comes uh, with the knowledge of knowing we have been given certain things, but we got to go and possess it. I want to talk about I want to talk about maximizing what God has given unto us. Even though it's been given to us, we have a responsibility to maximize that. And I think sometimes we do not maximize it. Uh, we just hide it we just have the same amount he gave to us and we do not improve it increase it or do anything with it and i want to talk about that i mean this is this is near and dear to my heart god has given us some things and we are responsible for maximizing those things he's given unto us he's given us a diamond in the rough but it's up to us to polish that thing up. It's up to us to cut it the right way. A diamond in the rough. A diamond in the rough. 
When you go to the jewelry store and you see diamonds, they didn't, they didn't come like that. There were some things that had to happen for them to look like that. So I, I want to look at Matthew chapter 25 and, and verse 14. I want to focus on this because I have a personal responsibility to improve, maximize, polish what has been given unto me. So do you. You have a personal responsibility. And that is proven in scripture. In Matthew chapter 25, starting at verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country. Who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents. To another two and to another one. To each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on the journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you deliver me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents beside them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents beside them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you rule over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown. Gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid. And went and hid your talent in the ground. Look. There you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him. You wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown. And gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers. And at my coming I would have received back my own with interest so take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents for to everyone who has more will be given and he will have abundance but from him who does not have even what he has will be taken away and cast that cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness there will be weeping gnashing of teeth. Stay tuned for more of Frank Stewart. And now for some special announcements. Thanks for partnering with the Axe Ministries. We value your service and your donations. That's why we've made it easy to make contributions to support our ministry. Simply go to your web browser and click the search bar and type in axeministriesonline.org. Then click Donate Online. It's really that easy. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501-302-4242. That's Simple Give. And now, more of Pastor Frank Stewart. Now, I want you to think about this because he was given one talent. Now, when the, when the master comes, and this story is talking about Jesus, when he comes back, he's not just looking for what he gave us. He's looking for interest and he's looking for increase. The problem is this. This is the problem. Is that he thought he could just give, him, give, give the master back what he had given him. He didn't understand that he had a responsibility to increase. Now that's a powerful statement. That's a very challenging statement. 
that not just what we have, but we have a challenge that goes with that, and that challenge is to increase what has been given unto us. Not just, not just what has been given to just hold on to that. The man said he buried it. He buried that one. He wanted to make sure that he gave back to him what he had. He wanted to make sure he didn't lose it. That's fear. That's fear. Now, I, I want us to talk about this. I want us to spend a couple of podcasts on this because this is so, 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 so very important. So very important. That most people don't realize that we are to maximize what he's given unto us. We might start at one point, but we are to use perseverance and we are to use our faith to maximize what God has done. Now, after I leave this, I'm going to show you the one with the issue of blood. It was her responsibility to get to Jesus. Think about that. Her responsibility to be healed. We're looking at this man with one talent. He didn't realize he had a responsibility to to multiply the one talent that he had. He was responsible for that. Now, the one with five, he immediately went out and he began to multiply. And that's very important. Notice notice what it says. It says he immediately went out. That 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 is that is so important that just not not just uh, receiving it, sitting on it, waiting for something to happen, but it says he immediately went out. Immediately went out and start using what God had given unto him. And sold it to one that had two talents. He went, went out immediately. Now the man that had to warn, the Bible says he buried it. He buried that one talent in the ground. Dug a hole and put it in there he wanted to make sure that he gave his Lord back everything he had given unto him. And when you look at this, it, it looks it, it, it looks like this is a good thing. I remember as a child reading this and not understanding why God was upset with this. I remember that couldn't understand why God was upset with this man. But when, as, as I grew in understanding, I began to understand that he was given a responsibility. And his responsibility was to maximize what has been given, to maximize it, to maximize it. You have a responsibility not just to stay where you are. You have a responsibility not just to stay a newborn babe. You're responsible for the, to grow. Now, this man here was a servant of God. He was a servant. It's not somebody outside. This was somebody that the master knew. This was somebody that was a servant. He was to maximize, to maximize what God had given him. And not just to give back to God the one talent. Now, now if you look at that, this, you know, we, we say, well... He gave him everything back, but you have to understand the mere fact that there was no increase. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't have to double it. He should have just had any kind of increase. He had zero increase. He didn't have any kind of interest. He didn't. He didn't even let the bankers have it. He could have just put it out to the bankers, and there would been an increase. He did nothing. He hid it, and because of that, he had to suffer the consequences. Now I want you to stay tuned. I want you, I want you to stay tuned on this because we're going to go through this and we're going to look at this because every one of us have been given something from God and we have a responsibility to increase it. We have a responsibility to, to maximize it. We have, a, we have a responsibility to show a profit. And there's coming a day in judgment that God is going to look for a profit. And brothers and sisters, we want to have a prophet. So stay tuned for the next few days. We're going to talk about this personal responsibility uh, element, this piece that I believe has been missing from Christianity. And that is we have a personal responsibility to maximize what God has given unto us. For mobile giving, text the amount you wish to donate to 501 302 
888-242-4242. The Axe Church in North Little Rock is located at 1224 Franklin Street. Morning Glory begins at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday School begins at 8.30 a.m. And for a powerful word, join us at 9.30 a.m. for our morning worship service. Bible study is each Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. At our Conway location, Morning Glory begins at 10 a.m. Sunday School begins at 10.30 a.m. Worship service begins at 11.30 a.m. On Thursday, our Bible class begins at 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to axeministriesonline.org or give us a call at 501-329-2055. Thank you for tuning in to the Axe Ministry Podcast. The Axe Church is located at 1423 Indian Street in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Tune in each day to hear an inspiring word from Pastor Frank Stewart.